Efferson's Transport Network Vehicle Service or TNVS was introduced in the country, a lot of commuters have clamored for the service it gives and the safety and comfortability that it offers. Recently, Transport Secretary Arthur Tugade signed the amended guidelines for premium taxis known as the Taxi Modernization Program. This week on Mooring Forum, we'll have Attorney Martin Delga III, LTFRB Chairman, to give us more insights into this matter. Hello Chairman Delgra and welcome once again to Motoring Today. Hello we and to all the viewers of Motoring Today. Ever since the news came out about premium taxis, people have been talking about this new move of the transport agencies behind it, the DOTR and LTFRB. For the benefit of our viewers, please tell us what is the current status of the country's taxi service and what is the rationale of the amending for the guidance for it. As you well know, there has been uh, a number of complaints regarding uh, taxi service and that's the reason why among the uh, priorities that we have put in place when we assume office uh, at the start of the administration of Mayor Rudy Duterte and upon our assumption into office among the priorities that we have put in place in order to address the issue on public transport was the uh, taxi service. Marami pong mga issue about mga pasaway na taxi drivers sa bansa although there's not much issue in so far as our hometown in Davao City is concerned where uh, Mayor Duterte has been mayor for quite some time. But nevertheless, it's something that we need to address, especially here in Metro Manila. And a large part of the uh, activities that we have taken uh, in so far as uh, addressing the issues arising from taxi service is in the enforcement side. Meaning, we have been going after hindi lang po yung mga pasaway na taxi drivers or taxi units. But at the same time, uh, we have been very strong on our anti-colorum. We have discovered in fact that there were quite a number of uh, taxi running around, especially here in Metro Manila, kung saan wala pong mga prangkisa. So among the apprehended units that we have impounded during our anti-colorum campaign was, were actually taxi units. But uh, moving forward, not only having to address it on the enforcement side, but having to improve the taxi service uh, in general is having to put in place and implement the requirements of modernizing our taxi service and pursuant to the omnibus franchising guidelines. Among which is to uh, put in place the necessary gadgets like CCTV and dashcam and the introduction of technology in the taxi service. Nakita po natin yan na how good technology was and still is in so far as the TNBS is concerned. And that's the reason why we have mandated it to be installed and used in our taxi service. Kaya po, ngayon, pag mag, may magkakalibrate po ng mga bagong mga taxi units, eh, kailangan na meron na silang mga apps or mobile apps for taxi service already in place. So, meron na po ng ganun. So, that's the state of our taxi service sa ngayon. And moving forward, we actually have already, upon the uh, directive of Secretary Tugade, we already have put in place a uh, finalizing a memorandum circular in order to implement the modernization of our taxi service. Under the government's moving PUVMP, the taxi modernization program has been widely compared to that of the services given by TNCs. Paano ito na iiba, Chairman? Uh, <clears throat> people might think that uh, the service is similar, uh, the service that's being offered by the taxi as well as by the TNVS. Similar in the sense na Wala pong rota ito. And then it's based on booking in so far as both TNVS as well as taxi. But in the case of the taxi, pwede rin pong yung tinatawag na street hail. But in so far as the availment of the service is concerned, alam po natin yung taxi service is 24-7. So ibig sabihin, at any time of day and night, the taxi is there. However, in the case of the TNVS, considering that the original concept is what you call a ride-sharing model, then much discretion is given to the owner of the vehicle whether they want to go online or not in order to accept bookings from customers. Yung po ang um, pinakamalaking kaibahan between the taxi service and the TNVS service. In a released statement, 
It has been said that the Transport Modernization Program aims to uplift three elements that will benefit both the commuters and drivers. Ano po ang mga iyon and how will the program make an impact on the transport system in the country? Okay, <clears throat> among the salient features of this department order that was actually um, issued by Secretary Tugade is among one is the modernization of the fleet. The modernization of the taxi service will actually introduce what we call premium taxi. Ano po ibig sabihin itong premium taxi na ito? In so far as the unit is concerned, mas malaki po yung unit na ito in terms of engine displacement, in terms of legroom, in terms of cargo compartment and which will give more safety and convenience to the riding public especially those taking taxi service pangalawa we're looking at again using the apps so that when you book premium taxi you can actually book them through the online through the apps pangatlo we're actually saying that in order to make the uh, taxi service more responsive to the riding public, we are mandating what you call the fleet management system that we are going to require of uh, premium taxi operators. What that means, among others, is that yung mga drivers po ng mga ng premium taxi is salary based na po. Hindi na po sila magdedepende dun sa yung tinatawag na boundary system. Under the amended guidelines, vehicles will be classified as either silver or gold. What are the parameters that will classify the types of vehicles under the program? Um, much of that would actually depend on the kind of unit that will be used. Obviously, when we talk about the gold type of uh, premium taxi, it's much higher than the silver type service for premium taxi. So, yun po ang uh, very fundamentally ang difference between these two. You've touched the provision of the driver's salary earlier, sir, which might be good news for our taxi drivers. Kapareho po ba ito ng mga jeepney modernization program where operators and drivers are under a cooperative? Opo. In fact, in so far as the salary-based system that we have put in place um, under the modernization program, hindi lang po ito para sa taxi service, kundi po para sa lahat ng public transport. No? From buses, UV, taxi, uh, even PUJ which is uh, given much focus under the modernization program uh, of the public transport. So, yung mga bagong rota under the modernization program o kaya yung mga bagong serbisyo kagaya ng uh, taxi, minamando na po natin uh, na salary-based na po yung uh, mga drivers na ito. Thank you very much for your time, Chairman Delgra. Before we end, do you have any message to the viewers relevant to this topic? We are very much eager uh, to announce the taxi modernization program and so we would invite the public to await the uh, implementation of this taxi modernization program and as well as uh, alam nyo po ongoing yung uh, implementation ng modernization program of the PUV all across the country so tuloy tuloy po ito I hope uh, you will continue to support us to support government to support uh, the OTR and LTFRB in the smooth implementation of the PUV modernization program. Thank you once again, attorney. Thank you, we, and happy motoring. Attorney Martin Delgrada III, the LTFRB chairman, our guest this week on Motoring Today's Motoring Forum, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.